Well, guys, look over there. There is Lobster. Lobsters use a pair of jointed legs to walk along the seafloor. They move by crawling, using their legs to push their bodies forward. Lobsters can also utilize their hard shells to glide quickly along the seabed. Additionally, lobsters have two pairs of antennae that help them sense their surroundings and guide their movements. This is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurs are prehistoric marine reptiles believed to have cold-blooded characteristics. Most reptiles, including modern-day lizards and snakes, exhibit cold-blooded traits, meaning they rely on the external environment to regulate their body temperature. The characteristic of being cold-blooded allows mosasaurs to adapt to the water temperature in their environment. Wow, this is starfish! Starfish survive through several methods, including regeneration, sexual reproduction, and the ability to change the color of their bodies. They also utilize their bumpy exoskeletons to protect themselves from predators and move using a water vascular system called the ambulacral system. This is a hermit crab. Each of a hermit crab's gills consists of several small holes called lamellae, where oxygen from the water enters the crab's bloodstream, while carbon dioxide is expelled from the body through a process called diffusion. These gills enable hermit crabs to live underwater and meet their oxygen needs. There is a puffer fish. Puffer fish can also release poison from their hearts that can kill 30 adults. Anyone who is exposed to this poison will experience muscle paralysis, dizziness, heart failure, and even death. It is not surprising that this fish is the second most poisonous animal in the world. This is Lemon Shark. Lemon sharks are not very brightly colored. They are more of a tawny color, giving them a muddy appearance. This makes them perfectly colored to match the sandy bottom of the environment in which they hunt. There is an octopus. Octopuses live in oceans all over the world. Some octopuses live near the surface of the water in shells, reefs and crevices. Some species live on the ocean floor. Octopuses tend to be solitary, although they sometimes interact with other octopuses. This is blue whale. In the 1900s, there was a massive blue whale hunt. Records show about 380,000 blue whales were caught. The aim of hunting blue whales is to extract fish oil which comes from the fat of these giant mammals. Blue whale oil is widely used in oil lamps and to make soap and margarine. This is mouth bass. Large mouth bass, also known as the Queensland grouper, is generally aggressive when it comes to hunting for food. They often hide in coral crevices or among rocks, waiting for their prey to appear. Giant groupers are also known as effective predators, utilizing their size and strength to catch fish and other marine creatures. There is a jellyfish. Jellyfish have luminous organs that emit light or are known as bioluminescent. Bioluminescence is the body's ability to produce light. This light is green and blue. Crystal jellyfish are a type of jellyfish that have bioluminescent abilities. This light is a chemical reaction of proteins produced by the jellyfish's body with seawater. This is Gernard fish. The flying gurnard fish is a unique species of fish that has wings and legs. This fish is one of the species Dactylopterus volatans, a type of fish that lives at the bottom of the ocean. The name gurnard for this fish comes from the French word gurnard, which means purr, because this fish is known to make a sound like a snoring sound. This is dolphin. 
Some researchers have found that dolphins have the longest memories of any species, apart from humans. A study revealed that dolphins can recognize the voices of their close friends, even after being separated for 20 years. A number of scientists have concluded that this extraordinary memory can be linked to the evolution of social relationships among dolphins. There is spotted eagle ray. The spotted eagle ray has a flat disc shape, with a blue or black color with white spots on top and a white lower body, and a distinctive deep snout like a duck's beak. The tail is longer than other rays and may have two to six venomous spines. The pectoral. This is ammonite. Ammonite live throughout the seas and swam by squirting water in one direction to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. This is a blue spotted ray. Blue spotted rays are natural prey for hammerhead sharks, bottlenose dolphins and orca whales. So they protect themselves using the sting on their tail. The sting contains low levels of venom, which is not fatal if stung in non-vital organs and does not have a specific allergic syndrome. This is a Dacopodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is a crayfish. Crayfish walk forward, but they can also move backwards only when swimming by using their abdominal movements. Uniquely, they can swim backwards very quickly. And this species will molt at the end of June. They usually eat old shells to regain the calcium and phosphate contained within. This is a moray eel. Several types of moray eels have very beautiful body colors. The colors and patterns on the moray eel's body vary greatly depending on the type. Many marine aquarium lovers use this eel as an addition to their aquarium collection. Several tourist attractions have collections of various types of beautiful moray eels. This is Gulper Eel. Male gulper eels generally have larger eyes than females. Scientists believe that males can meet females mainly because males follow the scent of pheromones released by females, but the ability of pelican eels to produce light at the tip of their tail is also used to attract the attention of the opposite sex to reproduce. This is Garfish. Alligator fish are large fish with flexible armor consisting of ganoid scales. These scales contain a thin layer of ganoin and a bony body with serrated edges that provide effective protection against predators. Throughout history, this fish has also been a game fish for sport fishing and can also be kept as an aquarium fish. There is a clownfish. Unlike most animal species, for clownfish looking after and caring for their young is not the mother's job, but the father's job. The main male not only fertilizes, but he even prepares a place for the female so she can lay her eggs safely. After that, the father will look after the eggs and clean the nest of dirt. This is squid. The behavior of squid can vary depending on the species, but generally, they are known to be intelligent and adaptable creatures. They are often active at night when hunting for food and can utilize their camouflage abilities to hide from predators. Some species are also known for their ability to communicate using patterns of light and body movements. Thank you for watching guys, see you next video.